When you don't have that gene, that active gene, there's an amino acid that rises in your body called homocysteine. Now, homocysteine is a bad actor. Homocysteine causes, first of all, plaque to build up in our arteries. It causes plaque in the arteries. It causes a type of plaque in the brain called beta amyloid to accumulate that leads to Alzheimer's. Colbert here, and I am joined here with my dad, Dr. Don Colbert, my mom, Mary, and my wife, Meredith. And this is Dr. Colbert's broadcast. And today we are talking about love. No. Folic acid. No. What are we here to talk about? <laughs> I didn't get the memo. We're talking about the MTHFR gene mutation, yes. which is one of the most common gene mutations. And it's associated with so many health problems that so many doctors are treating, yet very few test for this gene mutation. Yesterday, uh, ye yesterday morning, we were at breakfast and I was talking to Don about this. I said, Don, just kind of run this through to me a little bit about what we're going to talk about tomorrow about this gene. I don't know a whole lot. He started telling me, folks, I just want you to know you are in for an amazing program. He, this is some of the most exciting information that is going to empower you yes. in your life. And it really is. It's very exciting. It's going to be a lot shocking to you guys. I know you think you know it all, but wait till you hear what he has to share. I'm excited. Well, realize first that about 50% of the U.S. population has a mutation in the MTHFR gene. Oh, okay. That's methyl tetrahydrofolic acid reductase gene that makes an enzyme, MTHFR, it's an enzyme that's critical in the production of energy and in forming neurotransmitters that helps prevent depression, anxiety, in brain health and brain speed and in circulatory health. There's around 40 different mutations in this gene, but there are two major ones. There's the MTHFR, first A1298C mutation, then there's the MTHFR, C677T. So we all have 46 chromosomes. On the first chromosome, on the short Y arm of the chromosome at position 677, there is a mutation from the cytosine base to the thymine base. That's a whole lot of biochemistry. Got the biochemistry. <laughs> it's just made, there, there, you inherited a mistake is what's happened. Mm. You put thymine for cytosine, and that mistake was you inherited at birth, and you carried it through all your cells on the first chromosome, uh, and that mistake is causing you to have, If and there's two kinds of mistakes that can occur. You get each chromosome from each parent. So uh, if you have just one mutation on one gene, that's called heterozygous or a minor mutation. But if you have two or one from each parent, so you inherited one from mom and dad, you know, the mutation of the MTHFR C677T, then that's a major mutation or a homozygous mutation. That's the one that's dangerous that leads to disease. I'm gonna talk about the diseases that leads to Oh, wow, now, that's just free loss. Now, what is amazing about this, I think, and I, I'd like to stress to people so they can understand, this glitch, there's nothing you can do about it, but- You inherited it. The big thing is people are going to be like, well, why do I need to know if I have it? This is huge because now you well, can do first, a blood first, test. First, let me explain. Yes, okay. there's a blood, you're getting way ahead of the cart. First, okay. let me explain. If you have just one mutation or the heterozygous or the minor mutation, your gene, your MTHFR gene, which produces MTHFR enzyme, that's methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme, but don't worry about the gobbling group. Just remember, the gene produces an enzyme that in turn helps protect your brain, brain energy, produces neurotransmitters, and protects your circulatory system. Now, if you only have one mutation or your the minor gene or heterozygous, right. one glitch, then that gene's working at about 30, or that enzyme's working at 30% effectiveness. But if you have two mutations, that gene is fun, or that enzyme is functioning at 70 per, or at 30%. Well, what Wait. happens when it's only performing at 30%? Well, you can't make what? enough neurotransmitters. Ah. So you get depressed. Ah. And I'm going to talk about all that. And you're more prone to cancer and you're more prone to circulatory disease. And half the country. And you're more prone to miscarriage. And about half the country has a mutation in this MTHFR gene. Just yeah. across the board, not across based the board. on anything. The, 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 the dangerous one is the homozygous or the major mutation. 
about 8.5% are homozygous for the MTHFR C677T, and about 85 to 10% are homozygous, major mutation for the A1298C. So again, so in all, about 20% have the major mutation, yet we're missing Major. Them. Wow. And what are the side effects with having this major mutation? What well, is- the side effects are, number one, we see the, the body, the brain, cannot produce the neurotransmitters, norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin. And so they they're prone struggle. for major yeah. depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, anxiety, ADHD, autism. They're more prone to have the energy. Condition. And energy. They lack brain speed and energy. Mm. But and they're tired. All they're the time. always tired. I may have this gene. <laughs> well, well I, I have, have the minor <laughs> mutation. So you have one bad gene. Now, your mom may not. I don't think she's she's not been tested. I don't know if she has. I don't the, think I do. I don't think she has the minor. But I have one has of one. the genes. So I have one of the variants. So it's more likely. But to I've learned how to hack through by taking the active form of folic acid. We're going to teach you. Don't worry. Even if you have the minor or major mutation, we can protect your brain. And so I, I used to There's struggle hope. with depression because I didn't, I had the minor mutation, but now I take my brain zone basic. It supplies five milligrams of the active form of folic acid along with NAD and it supplies the brain energy that you need and it protects you against depression. Well, this is a hot topic. So oh, it is. The, I've, I've seen this on podcast, MTHF, yes. the methyl tetrahydrofolate gene, and a lot of, you know, very popular podcasts that we listen to as well are talking about. Yes, it's But there's big. natural ways, not just natural, right. but there's also pharmaceutical ways. I sure. think, isn't there a, a drug called there, metformin? No, and, called Deplin. There, and Deplin. we're going to talk about that later. But okay. there is a, a medicine, it's called a medical food. You only get it through prescription called Deplin. It comes at 7.5 milligrams and 15 milligrams. And that's the active form of folic acid, the same thing in Brain Zone Basic. Or you can get actually the supplement, MTHF supplement, uh, five milligrams uh, once or twice or three times a day, which is the same thing as the Deplin, the medical food. Okay. So well, why can't people just take regular folic acid? Because folic acid's in almost every... Because once, when you have that mutation, your body cannot adequately convert the inactive form to the active form. And so you have the inactive form building up, but you don't have the active form. The active form is the only one that works like a key in a lock that unlocks the cell to protect the brain, to produce energy, to produce neurotransmitters, to protect the circulation from homocysteine that builds up to protect the brain from beta amyloid that builds up when you have this gene. It's exciting what they have found in the gene therapy and gene studies, what they're uncovering. Folks, this is amazing uh, what they have found. Well, yeah, let's and just talk pro- about Yeah, and our product, the Brain Zone Basic, Basic has what you need to help support right. that. Now, I want to check the grandkids for this. Every grandkid should have this checked because, like it's I said, I have one. It's a simple blood test. costs 100 bucks. And most all labs do it, or you can get a buckle smear. There's others like Ancestry or uh, 23andMe, but you have to put that through a genetic genie. So it's easiest just to get a blood test from your doctor, or you can get it online. I'm going to talk about online tests you can do, so you don't even need a prescription. But let's talk about the problems. We talked about the neurotransmitter imbalances. When you don't have this, this active form, enough of it, or when you have this glitch, Either the the minor mutation or the double mutation, the major mutation, you're prone to develop depression, major depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. I cannot, uh, everyone that comes into my office with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder or major depression, I always get this test on them. And so many of them have that major mutation. And I put them on that active form of folic acid, the right dose. And some need a lot of it. Some need a little, depending if they if they have the major mutation, they usually need more. But just an example, I saw a lady 10 years ago, Mary. This lady had just, she was 45 years old, had a complete hysterectomy. Now, in a woman, your hormones, women, are really important for your brain. And when you put a woman at age 45 through a hysterectomy, a complete hysterectomy, removing the ovaries and the uterus, it threw her in a hormonal limbo, and she went through major depression. And they put her on two different antidepressants. Finally, she came to visit me at my office, and I, I checked her, and I saw that all her hormones were on E. So I put her on the natural bioidentical hormone pellets, 
mainly bioidentical estrogen and testosterone. And then I checked her for the MTHFR gene. This was 10 years ago. Well, no one had checked her for that. And I thought for sure that testosterone and estrogen would help her, but lo and behold, she didn't get any better. She was still suicidal, had to be on all these antidepressants and everything. And uh, so then I, we, when we got the MTHFR gene back, she had a double mutation, the major mutation in the MTHFR C677T gene, which is the major gene. And so I put her on that active form of folic acid, I believe it's around 10 milligrams a day. And when I did that, boom. Active form, the I active. stress that. that. People need to hear That's that. That's the MTHF. Yes. And five dash MTHF, is that right. the same thing? Same thing. It's all the same. Same thing in, okay. in our brain zone basic that we have. But I didn't have that back then. This was 10 years ago. And so I just gave her the active form and she took it twice a day and within a few months, I was able to wean her off all her antidepressants. And to this day, she's not had any depression. No meds. And, and no meds. And she stays on her horm her bioidentical hormones and her active form of folic acid. Now, are there any foods that contain the MTHF? Or do you can you just get it isolated and in, in a you have to concentrate you, so There's you have no to foods it. that contain the active form. They contain the inactive form that has to be converted. But if you don't have the cofactors and the vitamins you need, like in order to convert it, you need that 5-MTHF to produce the 5-MTHF-R enzyme that converts it to the active form. And that's the but, big thing that people have to understand is when you have this glitch in your gene, you don't have the ability to convert like the average person does. So right. you've got to have some natural supplementation to help support your body right. to convert it. I wonder, is this a new thing? Like as, as far as people not being able to convert this or has this been going on? It's been going on for okay. many years. That's they why just so, missed it. Well, that's why so we have so many problems with brain fatigue, ADHD, autism, things like that. And uh, just poor learning. Well, our food, every, you know. Our, our food doesn't have the, it doesn't, doesn't have, have any active. of the inactive forms <laughs> besides but has, the active form. It has the uh, folic acid in there. Right. And you can see in the cereal, it's in right. there. It's because in the cereal it's preservative. But, but it's, they can't convert that to the active form. So we talked about the mental health disorders that occur, but also, you know, it affects the circulation. Mm. When you don't have that gene, that active gene, there's an amino acid that rises in your body called homocysteine. Now, homocysteine is a bad actor. Homocysteine causes, first of all, plaque to build up in our arteries. It causes plaque in the arteries. It causes a type of plaque in the brain called beta amyloid to accumulate that leads to Alzheimer's. And it also causes Animals. bones to degenerate, forming bone loss, osteopenia, osteoporosis. Well, what's amazing is the active form of folic acid lowers the homocysteine level. My homocysteine used to be 15. It should be less than 10. And a few years back, I started on the brain zone basic right here. And I took, I have to take two twice a day. I dropped it and I put all these methylators in there. I put the trimethylglycine, a thousand milligrams. That's another methylator. You say, what's a methylator? It methylates the groups, which helps, again, protect our brain from degeneration and lowers homocysteine. The more methylators you can get, the lower we can get that homocysteine level. I also put the methylated cobalamine or the active form of B12, and I put curcumin in there. That's the trash collector for the brain. You see what I wrote about in my book, The Brain Zone, it's right over here, right here. The Brain Zone, what we found is when you sleep on your side, it activates your glymphatic system in your brain. Your glymphatic system is your lymphatic system in your brain, which is your waste disposal system. Yeah. But when you sleep on your side, you activate it much more, much stronger. Oh, so, so there's the benefits of yes. sleeping on the side. So when you sleep on the side, you activate your trash disposal system <laughs> in the brain. You just get more wrinkles on your face. Well, use <laughs> a satin pillow. <laughs> yeah. Use a satin pillow. But then, a satin pillow. Boy. But then what you do also is you take curcumin. Curcumin is the most amazing, the active form of turmeric, curcumin, which is the most amazing trash collector for the brain. It grabs onto that beta amyloid and you, it pulls it out. It's best to take it at night when you go to bed. So before I go to bed, I take my curcumin. It's in my brain zone basic. How how soon do, before you go to bed? Do you take it like an hour before you go to sleep? Yeah, I take it by an hour. Okay. Yeah, and so that. And you and take that, it with food. It's, and so these are simple ways to hack in so that I can lower that homocysteine because the homocysteine, like I say, it causes plaque in the brain, it causes plaque in the arteries, and it degenerates the bones. So many women I've found 
at the age of 50 or in the early 50s start to get osteopenia and osteoporosis. Well, when your homocysteine's high, see, that causes your bones to degenerate. It's like so, acid in your body. And then your hormones. When women go through the chains, their testosterone lowers, their uh, progesterone lowers, their estradiol lowers, and the, the bones start to degenerate. And so what we do is we put them on a bone preservation program that has these bioidentical hormones and bone and lift exercises, working out with weights like leg presses, squats, weight bearing exercises, puts more stress on those bones and makes them thicker. So that's critically important. And then the last thing that when you don't have this enzyme, it's important for cell growth and DNA synthesis. Now you say, what does that mean, cell growth? Well, when cell growth goes abnormal, we get cancers. So when you have this major mutation that, um, you know, the C677T or the A1298C, you're, and you have the major mutation later in life, after 60, you're more prone to develop cancers. What kind of cancer? I'm going to talk about those in a minute because the cell division can get confused and you can have abnormal cell division. And you can also have poor DNA repair leading to autoimmune diseases. Mm. So it's especially the major mutation. So that's why when you say what autoimmune diseases, you name it. Uh, it includes lupus, it includes rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis. I had just happened to have psoriasis back 30 years ago. And thank goodness I figured out what I needed. And I didn't know about this uh, mutation. minor mutation I had back then, but I was able to overcome it with the right foods and the right gut supplements. But these are just a few things that's affected from it. So essentially, if you have a patient that comes in that has either osteoporosis or osteopenia yeah. or has cancer yeah. or maybe even early stage dementia or Alzheimer's. She's early employed. diseases. Yeah. You're yeah. testing for this MPHFR gene. And also I test homocysteine. Like and the homocysteine. But just listen, these are the diseases associated with a major mutation in the MTHFR gene. Just listen to them. And that's first, if your both parents had it. Yeah, if both parents had the major, have, not yeah, the minor. Right. Okay, first, increased risk of cancer. These are the cancers that occur. Breast cancer, uterine cancer, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer, and bladder cancer. Number two, it increased the risk of heart disease, stroke, and blood clots. Number three, it's linked with numerous autoimmune diseases. Here are the diseases. Lupus, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, Graves' disease, Crohn's disease, ankylosing spondylitis, ulcerative colitis, scleroderma, type 1 diabetes, and celiac disease. Mm. So again, the other pro problems it causes, we talked about uh, the mental health problems, but the miscarriages, the neural tube defects. Miscarriages. The, oh, yes. huge miscarriages. A if lot of my patients. having a lot of miscarriages. Yeah. Right. They need to get this blood test. They sure do. Wow. Cleft lips, cleft palates, anencephaly, uh, spina bifida, as well as uh, neurological problems, brain fog, migraine headaches. So you say, well, what about the minor mutations? The minor mutations generally don't cause the severe diseases that the major does, but they still cause problems just like me. So again, what do we do for this? The big thing for most of my patients, brain zone, basic, two twice a day is what I do. And some people just need two a day. Okay, so let's go back, if you don't mind, because mm -hmm. my brain is going along with them. And Meredith, jump in if you have any questions too. Cause I, yeah, we've got to. Yeah, like, I'm sure people are <laughs> We're like. We're sucking up all the oxygen. Yeah, I see Meredith works with trauma release yes, patients that, you know, who may be battling with depression and all kinds of stuff. So this is just good for counselors like you right. to know right. these things so that they can advise their patients. But um, if we could real quick, sure. the major mutation, uh, is the brain zone enough for people with majors? Now with a major, this, yes, five milligrams, a lot of people with major will be helped tremendously, just two twice a day. Okay. And now some people will need uh, the, the, five, the five MTHF, not the Deplin, just the over-the-counter medicine. You can okay. Get, we get ours okay. from Thorne. I think uh, that's important for yeah. them to know. Well, they have the major. We're going to go to break and we're going to come back. And I want to pick up where you left off because you were getting ready to go into more than just the different right. kinds of cancers. Right. So if you want to get Dr. Colbert's Healthy Brain Zone, you can go to divinehealth.com. If you need to pick up the Brain Zone Basic, you can also go to divinehealth.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back to talk about how you can help and overcome your MTHF conversion crisis. <laughs> <laughs> 